Maybe it's good that Twilight didn't come. In a town full of birds, there's no crap on this statue? Get real, would you? Happened to your town, King. But Rainbow Dash can't be right. This can't all be because of a missing hunk of gold. You're right, Binky. And you've got amazing hair. Ah, King Grover, you old charmer. Pinkie Pie's mane truly is jaw-dropping amazing. I know what Griffinstone needs! Fewer ponies. A song! So I many season one flashbacks. That's sure to make even the most grumpy Griffin grin! <laughs> can't sing here. Technically, that sign means Griffins can't sing. I don't see any pictures of singing ponies with a slash through it. Griffinstone's biggest problem. Where's your party store? Griffinstone may be a hole, but at least it has a name. Nothing cheers folks up like cake. Oh, we got Griffin scones. That's my specialty. Bits first. She said bits, not bit. Well? Every time the map sends Pinky somewhere, she's compelled to eat a shitty pastry. Next time, Pinky noms a month-old croissant found between some sofa cushions in a run-down townhouse complex where half the residents have outdoor pets and the other half are gardeners with sticks up their asses. Don't tell me. Say, what did Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash do with all the gear they brought? And how come none of it could help Rainbow Dash go into the abyss? Did they not bring rope and grappling hooks with them? What did they bring? Whoa. Never mind. So, who's watching the variety store? Oh, you hurt your hoof? Did you hit it on a poker trick on the ground? And this is why the griffin population is significantly lower than the pony population. Search and rescue services caused an immediate bundle and the death toll is very high. Ah! Well, what did you do the last time you were stuck injured in a gorge? Oh, right. How the hell did that rope not get blown away? Pinkie Pie's right above Rainbow Dash. That rope should have been miles away by the time it reached her level. Okay, never mind. Where does she think I'm gonna go? I have this headcanon that Junior Speedster Flight Camp is expensive, and it could be that part of the pressure on Guild is to make it worth the cost. Junior Speedster's Flight Camp? Hey there, I'm Rainbow Dash, and you are. uh. Gilda? You sure about that? Because alliteration is super annoying. Hey, it's only three. Except it does! It's clear why Gilda preoccupies herself with pride and coolness. She grew up with the coolest pony alive. Hang on, losers! I'm coming! What took you so long, doofus? Good-natured name-calling. A sure sign of camaraderie. If you could show me a kid who fell apart after seeing this skull, then... Then I'll recommend you get a new kid. Honestly, the, you know, for kids line really gets on my tits. There is no reason not to sprinkle some freaky stuff into children's entertainment. If parceled out and used in appropriate scenarios, images of death and destruction can be very useful and harmless. Hugging later! Hugging now! She touched it! She touched the skull! I love this show! This show has gargantuan barbels! I'm really sorry about how I treated you two. Thanks, Gilda. Apology accepted. This kind of thing has happened to me. I had a falling out with a friend, and all I'll say is that it involved a pop can of frisbee and a lampshade. And he was being a bastard, and I lashed out, and for years we hated each other. And years later, we were lumped together in an art class, and quite out of the blue, he told me he'd been feeling crappy about the way he treated me. And I wasn't mad anymore, so I told him I forgave him, and he in turn forgave me, and... We haven't really spoken since. Well, the point was, we didn't hate each other anymore. Go make a friend! I'm surprised that no one pinched those scones while Gilda was away. I guess this means that the variety store hasn't been touched since the cashier's been away. So she was really weirded out until I gave her the scone! Bribery! And said it tasted good! That's the first nice thing any Griffin's ever...
ever said to me. Wow, the map sure took its time sending some pony to fix this problem. What is the problem we needed to solve? Baby powder makes big dips and friendships fluffy and delicious. This has been a public service announcement from Rumford. We better be heading home, but you'll come back and visit, right? Well, you're not welcome in Ponyville anymore, so what choice does Rainbow have? See you later, you old charmer. Uh, Pinky, who are you talking to? No pony! She's not lying. And that's all. I'm Brass Polish signing off. Thanks for watching, and Gummy has not budged an inch.